Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study how hybridization actually influences bond length and bond strength. It's very important to understand because bond strength and bond length consequently affects or determines the reactivity of a given compound. So let's try to understand about this. What is a uh, bond strength? Bond strength is essentially how tightly the bonds are associated or bonded to each other and how effective the overlap is between the different atoms. Now it's important to know that greater the S character, closer the orbitals are to the nucleus and thus the overlap is very effective. So what does it mean? If you have greater S character, obviously the bond strength of that particular compound or the two atoms involved will be much stronger. So also another important thing to remember is what are the percentage of S character in various hybridization states. Now in sp3, the percentage of S character is 25%, sp2 has 33% while sp has 50% S character. So from this we can see that sp has maximum S character which means that the bonds angle or the hybridization states of those atoms which has sp hybridization will be strongest. Why is it strong again? Especially because s bond, s orbital or s character that is s orbital lies closest to the nucleus and the overlap or the effective bond form will be much stronger. Now we know that sp hybridization is involved in alkynes, sp2 hybridization is involved in alkenes or double bond and sp3 hybridization is involved in saturated systems. So based on that it is obviously understood that bond strength order would be something like this sp greater than sp2 greater than sp3 why again because sp has 50 percent s character sp2 has 33 percent s character sp3 has 25 percent s character so stronger the bond bonds more effective the overlap is and thus the bond length decreases so what is the relation between bond strength and bond length they are inversely related to each other if the bond strength is very high, that means the bonds are closer to each other. The bond strength or overlapping is weak, then that means bonds are farther from each other. So it is understood that bond strength and bond length are inversely related to each other. So the order would reverse here and you will get bond length order as sp3 greater than sp2 greater than sp. So now let's try to understand the relation between bond strength and bond length by taking an example. So in this, comp uh, in this question, we have been asked to arrange these given compounds, there are three compounds given in their decreasing order of bond strength. Remember bond strength is asked and if bond length is asked, then that would be inversely related, the order would be reverse. So here we need to identify that this is an alkane that is saturated system. So it has sp3 hybrid state, here you have CH2 double bond CHCH3. That means this is an alkene that is hybridization involved here is sp2 for these two carbon and here we have an alkyne that means the hybrid state involved is sp hybridization. Now what are we asked? We are asked to find the decreasing order of bond strength. We know that the bond strength order is sp greater than sp2 greater than sp3 that means the simply the you have to arrange these uh, compounds in the same order that is alkyne C triple bond C greater than C double bond C, alkene greater than alkane that is C single bond C. So this is how you can actually use or uh, bond strength and bond length to understand uh, the reactivity of various compounds involved and the more details in, of this we will study in a upcoming topics.